getting that Eddie Van Halen tone could be as easy as getting one of these little boxes. And one of these little boxes could give you a whole multitude of other tones. What do I know? It's the MXR EVH5150 overdrive pedal and I'll check it out right after through and I'll check it out right after this intro. Welcome to another video, my name is Elmo Karjalainen and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Today I'm taking a look at the MXR5150 EVH Overdrive Distortion Thingamajig pedal. This pedal costs just under 260 euros here in Europe. That would be just under $300, although I suspect it's a bit cheaper in the US. I'm not entirely sure, let me know in the comments. Eddie Van Halen is known for having a great guitar sound all through his first album, all the way, everywhere, all the time. What am I talking about? He has a great guitar sound. And I've heard that this is basically his sound in a small box, so I had to try it out. I've actually been itching to try this out for a while. It's a very simple pedal. On, off, seems well, built and all that. Output, bass, middle, treble, gain. A small boost knob here, which would be nice if it was bigger so that you could turn it on and off when playing live slightly easier. But hey, you can't have everything. Don't know why you couldn't have that here. Anyway, um, and it has a gate, which is nice, so you don't necessarily need a noise gate if you're using this. I'll try the pedal with both a Strat and a guitar with humbuckers, which is very strange for my channel. But I will because um, I get the feeling that this might be better with humbuckers. So I'll get it hooked up and start playing. Okay, so what else do I have going here? I have a Fender Ingve Malmsteen Strat with Seymour Duncan YJM Fury stacked humbuckers. Going into the MXR, I also have a Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive. In case you're new to the channel, just as a point of reference, uh, so you know what I normally use and. Uh, Kind of as a point of reference for me. I also have a Marshall Plex C50 watt head and a Marshall cab and that's basically it's a bit of delay in the loop. Here's my clean signal, it's not very clean. This is what my normal sound is with the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive. which needs uh, a noise gate because it makes lots of noise. Yep, that's the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive. Here's the MXR, everything set halfway. Uh, see what it sounds like. I always mess that one up. As you can hear, no noise because it has a gate. Let's see what the boost does. So first, without the boost. Add boost. Okay, let's 
Let's see what it does as a kind of clean boost. So I'll turn outputs all the way up and gain all the way down. And I turned off the boost. Clean signal first. <laughs> Okay, so it needs a bit of gain. Drop output back halfway. And now I turn gain to three o'clock. Okay, add a bit more gain, because more is more. Okay, and put outputs on full. Now even the gate is letting through a bit of hiss. <laughs> Okay, at this point I'm going to change guitars. Okay, so I dropped output and gain a bit because this is a bit hotter or the pickups on the guitar are a bit hotter. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Clean signal with this guitar. bit much I'll drop gain a bit and I also drop bass all the way just to see how that works <laughs> Okay, um, so I added bass while I was playing, let's drop that. Drop mid to get a scooped sound. <laughs>
Okay, drop mids back halfway and see what the treble does. Treble all the way down. <laughs> Treble all the way up. A bit of fist going on. I liked it most with EQ, everything set halfway. What do I think? I think it sounds very nice. Let's see how it cleans up, because that can be a good thing to have as well. One last test, let's see how it compares to the Ingve Overdrive. <laughs> What's my verdict? Well, I buy the gear that I review on Patreon, so you get an honest review. This is not sponsored. I like this. I like it quite a lot, but it's not entirely, entirely my cup of tea. I actually liked it a bit more with the single coils or the stacked hamburgers, which was a bit of a surprise. If you need a lot of gain and have a clean amp, um, this is definitely something for you to consider because this pedal has a lot of gain going on. Just personal preference, I prefer the Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive, but knowing uh, what a clean amp and that would sound like, that wouldn't be enough for me, so the MXR would be a good choice. Is it Eddie Van Halen's sound? I don't know. <laughs> I think it sounds good, that's basically all I can tell you. Uh, you need to try it out for yourself if you think it sounded good in this video. You need to, don't, you don't have to. You don't have to take orders from me. Your wish is my command, master. Yeah, I'll stop rambling. Uh, I like the pedal, um, that's basically my final verdict on it. If you want to check out more of my gear reviews, there is a playlist here uh, somewhere and other than that, I hope you liked the video, click like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification thing, comment, let me know what you thought, and support me on Patreon because you get honest reviews that way and you help me buy more of this gear to review. So, see you in another one, take care, bye!